Welcome back to Let's Play Spongy's Tale. We're doing it. We are doing it. We are going to besiege Rindia Castle and we are going to conquer it for the glory of Spunty Magoo. And to do that, we're going to raid the Begimini out of Emir. We don't want to touch Raduna, because Raduna will soon be ours. <laughs> so here's the plan. Two forest bandits escape. Take hostile action. Force the peasants to give you supplies. Take the supplies. Yes, I know Yamira looks upset. About to get worse. Huh? We'll see how poor you are after I've taken all you've got! I know we lose honor. But the relationship with the Kingdom of Swadia just deteriorated from zero to minus three. And it is this deterioration that means that I can go and conquer Rindiar Castle. I can't go to Swadian Wards anymore. They will attack me. Unless I can improve my relation with them somehow. Which is a bit difficult. Yep, a little bit of banditry. It's the one time I'll be doing it. Just so that I can get to a negative relation with them. Because otherwise I can't besiege anything. The game doesn't physically let you, I don't think. It's alright, they're all nearly dead. I know, blood on Spunty's hands. But it's worth it for this kingdom that he is going to make. One of them got knocked unconscious. Just one. No, two of them. No, just one. We looted some rubbish. And we got dinars! Hooray! But that's not why we did it. We did it so that now they are aggressive. Perhaps it's not my place to say so, sir, but I confess that I'm somewhat shocked that we steal from poor villagers. Of course, I realize that war is cruel, but there is no need to make it more cruel than necessary. Hopefully it won't happen again. It won't happen again. Because we are now going to go and deal with these darn, darn soldiers in Rindiar Castle. Rindiar Castle will soon be mine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hopefully, they haven't garrisoned this while I've been away. I don't have any lords that I can persuade to help me. They've got one more soldier. Doesn't matter. Prepare the siege ladders. It will take six hours. Go away! I'm about to become my own king. Call for a meeting with the castle commander. What do you want? A Swadian recruit is the castle commander? Good old Jeremy here. Surrender! Your situation is hopeless. Surrender? Ha! We can hold these walls until we all die of old age. Unless you're very old, I doubt that. Order your... We will lead the soldiers in an assault. And here's the problem with Rindia Castle. Fortunately, mountain bandits have bows. This will help. We are going to be one of the first over the field. Over the, um... Over the, uh... Walls. Now, the problem with this is that I have sent all of my really expendable troops first. There's a reason for this, um... I want the expendable troops to soften this up for us. Fortunately, the forest bandits are actually killing people. Now, when you first do this, there's my swallow man arms. When you first do this, when you play a game, it's always a tense moment. You've got to get up the ladder without getting shot to oblivion. It's really not easy because of all those archers. And the fact that all my dudes are just getting killed. Ow. You 
really just want to get over there. Oh my word, that's a lot of dudes. Get over, jump over, get past. There we go. I managed to wheedle my way past while all the green goes over there. Just so I can get to these archers. If I can kill these archers. Oh, you are not firing a crossbow at me. A point blank. Ra oh, my word. I think we have a lot of archers. You see the other archers there? We are going to go the long way around here. I want to get to those other ones. So far, we have lost 21, 17, no, they've lost 22 men. We've lost seven, 12 wounded. This is about to get worse, considering the fact that more people are going over there. Fortunately, I'm going to sneak to my, ow! God, they're shooting at me as we're going along, aren't they? Fortunately, we're starting to see the Rodok veteran crossbowman come into play. As you can quite see, they're good at what they do. What am I doing? Sneaking round. So I can get these crossbowmen. Spunty Magoo, the hero of Vader! Wait, wasn't that that place that- Oh god, my spleen! Oh. I'm expecting to lose most of my men doing this. However, as you can see, there's a lot of blobs corresponding to my color now. We are substantially outnumbering them. Plus, our Nord warriors, watchmen, and footmen have now appeared. They have very few actual decent melee troops available to them now. <laughs> Oh, we lost some Rodokian trained crossbowmen. Irrelevant. I shall smack into the back of them with this sword. Murder them all. Ah. Uh, oh, one lone man here. Shall I declare you war against you? Oi! Don't ignore me. My name is Spunty Magoo. I think we've won. Yeah, I think we've won. There is one solitary man over there, and we are all going to murder him. Is this one man? Mm. Follow me, everyone. I need to see where this one man has put himself. Hold this position. You hold that position. I'm gonna go find him. Down there, is he? Uh -huh. I hope he is. I hope he hasn't glitched himself into a wall. That would be quite unfortunate. Hmm. I think I'll take the long way round. Don't want to fall there. I could get knocked unconscious. You died in a horrible way, didn't you? You can pick any of those things up. Don't feel like it. So where is this last man? Please tell me you have not glitched your way into a wall. So where are you? Um... There you are! Hello! You 
sort of glitched yourself into a wall. Not good enough, though. Ha ha! Battle won. We lost a lot of dudes. However, we have a lot of prisoners. And a lot of footmen, a lot of infantrymen, and some new people that we can take on to our team. Done. And a lot of loot. We have definitely made enemies. I don't think the Swadians like us anymore. Sire, we have taken Rindiar Castle. Who do you wish to give it to? I want to have Rindiar Castle for myself. As you wish, sire. You will be the new lord of Rindiar Castle. I tried to grow a beard just like you. How does it look? Well, I think it needs a bit more polish. Rindiar Castle has fallen to your troops, and you now have full control of the castle. You may station troops here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Also, you should select now whether to have whether you will hold the castle for yourself or give it to a faithful vassal. You now possess lands in your name without being tied to any kingdom. This makes you a monarch in your own right, with your cart temporarily located at Rindia Castle. However, the other kings in Calradia will at first consider you a threat, for if any upward warlord can grab a throne, then their own legitimacy is called into question. You may find it desirable at this time to pledge yourself to an existing kingdom. If you want to continue as a sovereign monarch, then your first priority should be establish an independent right to rule. You can establish your right to rule through several means. Marrying to a highborn family, recruiting new lords, governing your lands, treating with other kings, or dispatching your companions on missions. At any rate, your first step should be to appoint a chief minister from among your companions. To handle affairs of state, different companions have different capabilities. You may appoint new ministers from time to time. You may also change the location of your report. I'll appoint a prominent citizen. Your new minister can be found at your court at Rindiar Castle. You should consult periodically to avoid the accumulation of unresolved issues that may sap your authority. What will be the name of your kingdom? Well, there is only one name for this kingdom. Spuntitopia! What other name can there be? As you approach, you are spotted by the castle guards who welcome you and open the gates for their king. Hmm. I knew I could do it. I have a Swadian knight as well under my command. Now the question is, where to from here? Most people would look at that and go, hmm, vexing. I myself, I'm going to leave it for the moment. Because, as I said before, my objective was to capture a castle and found my own bandit kingdom, which I have. Spuntitopia is a fledgling nation. Founded on... Ah, look at that! It's actually red because it's mine. <laughs> I am the king indeed. Where is my lord? Where is my, uh... Oh, hello. Somebody's already here. Oh, the minister. Who are you? Auntie Magoo, I assume that you as a man of honor will accord gentleborn ladies such as yourselves the right to return to our families and not demand a ransom. Uh, of course. Hello, Minister. This boy, there are no particularly urgent matters which need your attention. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, that was a success, wasn't it? Oh, the life of being a king. The first thing that you'd always want to do as a king, though, is to hand over a garrison. The good news about the garrison is that half of your soldiers, the half is half pay for all of your soldiers in the garrison, which is pretty good. We we'll want to take you out, actually. I want to keep everything Swadian right now, which is not a lot of things. Hey, hey, look at us! 
I'm actually quite uh, surprised I managed this. Coming a uh, good old fashioned warrior. We have some forest bandits prisoners and lots of Swadians, who we can eventually take over to our cause. Morale, as you could expect, is high. But what is the fate of the tiny bandit kingdom of Spuntitopia? Which, if by the way you go into the faction notes, it's there. Its vassals are no one. <laughs> Hopefully, the Swadian Kingdom will be pretty much busy. But, before we end the Let's Play, there's one more thing I need to do. <clears throat> king Spunty! I am indeed a king. A king of fine calibre. <laughs> a king of majesty and glory. Most importantly, a king in my own right. This is Mountain Blade Warband, the game where you can do anything you want. Be a humble trader, be a skilled knight roaming the lands, challenging people in tournaments. A man who only devotes himself to capturing and selling uh, deserters and bandits as a sort of uh, proxy manhunter or slave driver. Or you can try and forge your own kingdom like I just have, perhaps temporarily, or join another faction and forge the kingdom with them. You guys will have to let me know what you think um, about continuing it. I'm a little bit concerned that um, continuing it would be a bit of a slow slog, especially considering the fact that I have achieved what I've set out to achieve, which is capturing a castle. I may return to it, I may not, but for now, I'm Kikoskia, this is Spunty's Tale, and for now, it is over. Hey, I actually have a story to tell people now, when I conquered Windyar Castle and became king. That's nice, Spunty. You do realize we only have like 47 men, and they have armies of hundreds. Um. Maybe I could fall back on the Vader thing to intimidate them? <sighs> it's going to be difficult with you as king, isn't it? I'll catch you later, folks. See you then. Later. <laughs>